last time. Still broken. Still broken. Nobody fixed it for us. Ahoy there, it's uh, early February and uh, there are a couple of nice days in the forecast so we took the opportunity and uh, came uh, back to our property in North Vancouver Island and we are going to take apart this shed that is that proved itself to be completely useless uh, I've been uh, in touch with uh, the distributor in Toronto and uh, the manufacturer is in Israel but they want me to take some pictures uh, so I will take as many pictures as I can as we are taking it apart and uh, uh, when it's all disassembled we have bought shelter logic garage in a box uh, we have the pieces all loaded down here should uh, build it here in uh, you know in this area in this general area here uh, it's uh, it's good times it's uh, quite nice not actually even too cold and uh, <laughs> we'll see how far we get today <music> And that's where it broke. There is another connection over there that we are going to take apart. And once we do that, we should be able to take this long member and pull it out. Grandpa, Dedo, what do you think? So it's so what I'm thinking. What do you think? Right? still stuck there but we are hoping to be able to lift it and hopefully we'll free our little tractor and pull it out if it starts. Stuck.
tent will be over there. I have a little bit of gravel left from when we were spreading it for the driveway, so I'm just going to, to even it out uh, and use it. So that way we will be uh, building it on, a, on a gravel ground, not all the mud and, and sand and stuff. shed is almost almost disassembled it's next morning it's cold but it's beautiful you see blue sky and uh, the mountains are coming out so should be should be a nice day of course the plan didn't work quite out uh, i thought i would uh, spread the gravel but there was not just enough it so enough of it so I actually made it worse so now it's muddier <laughs> even muddier than it was before we are kind of flying by the seat of our pants here <laughs> but I am thinking that when uh, when the shed and everything is finally removed we might actually move the garage in the box things keep changing every day every hour it is gone yay so we stacked all the panels nicely on the side later we will uh, tie them up and uh, put them under a tarp so it's so they are protected and after much arguing we finally decided where we are going to put the, the garage tent and put all this stuff back under the tent <laughs> done the garage is done the stuff that stays here is in it I'm going to move the tractor and then some boxes just until tomorrow and I'm done done like dinner put some tent in my way look at this 
we have to change the plan back to construction <laughs> Hi there! <laughs> Anyone who was hoping to learn something from our off-grid project? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Looks like we are going to make a lot of mistakes, but hey, at least it should be entertaining. Um, so yes, we are all packed up. It's Sunday morning. It was supposed to rain and it's not, so it's like we could have stayed longer. So that's it for this episode of, of Grid Bound. Maybe we will be able to take some nice videos uh, on our way back to show you the beauty of our Vancouver Island. <laughs>